All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next on the Power. So I'm going to make a video about a powerlifter named Lamar Gant. So you guys seem to be enjoying the powerlifting history videos as well as the bodybuilding history videos. And Lamar Gant is a very historic powerlifter because he set a very important record. So in 1985, Lamar Gant was the first person in history to deadlift five times their body weight. He deadlifted 661 pounds at a body weight of 132 pounds, and he was only 5 foot 2 inches tall. And if that weren't impressive enough, he also deadlifted 634 pounds at a body weight of 10 pounds lighter, 123 pounds. Again, he is 5 foot 2. So if these records weren't impressive enough, uh, the fact that he did them with scoliosis, it makes them just unbelievable. So for those of you who don't know, scoliosis is a condition where your your spine kind of develops a curvature to either side. So it kind of looks like it looks bent almost. Um, so this is one of the things when I was in elementary school, I believe they tested us for scoliosis and, you know, to make sure we didn't need to wear a back brace. Because I believe if you wear a back brace uh, earlier on um, in your adolescent life, it can help fix scoliosis or at least make it a little bit better um, for you later in life. So I remember getting tested for that back in elementary school. But this is a condition that would definitely not make it easier to deadlift having a curved spine um, in the sideways direction. So if all of those things weren't impressive enough, he was also the first person to win a world championship in powerlifting at the age of 18. So he was the youngest man ever to become a world champion in powerlifting. And Lamar would go on to win 16 IPF world championships. So he's a pretty amazing powerlifter. He's also in the IPF Hall of Fame. He was inducted in 1980 while he was still a competitive powerlifter. So in addition to being a deadlift aficionado, his best bench press was 352.5 pounds or 159.9 kilograms. That was at 123 pounds body weight. And then, of course, he had his 688-pound deadlift or 312 kilograms, which would be his heaviest deadlift ever. Um, and then he also had a squat of 615 pounds or 279 kilograms, and this was done in training and not in a meet. So I believe he primarily competed as a deadlift specialist. It is also noteworthy that Lamar claims to have been completely natural and a lifetime drug-free athlete during his entire competitive powerlifting career, and with a body weight max of 132 pounds in competition. And I'm really inclined to believe that claim. I mean, this guy was obviously just a genetically strong guy. Um, he overcame the fact that he had scoliosis and would go on to deadlift five times his body weight, even with that crazy curvature of his spine. Um, I just find that madly just impressive, man. And I think he's definitely worthy of a video. This is a guy that I don't hear a lot of people talk about. I don't see a lot of videos on. Um, and this guy should really go down in history, um, in the powerlifting history books, is one of the greatest of all time because that is a really impressive feat of strength. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power. Signing out.